Yeah, you read that title correctly. It looks like Fallout New Vegas may be about to get a new update in 2024. And in fact, this may not even be the only of the older Fallout games getting such an update. I have a feeling this is going to be very exciting for a lot of you. This all began earlier this week, as it was discovered that a new beta branch was added to Fallout New Vegas on Steam. So we could actually see that this was added thanks to SteamDB. But to be clear, this is something being done by Bethesda or Steam, very likely Bethesda. Regular users can access this, and here, SteamDB is just tracking the changes Bethesda is making to New Vegas. So okay, a beta branch is definitely pretty weird. Typically, this would be used for updates. This is exactly how it's reflected when a Starfield update is uploaded and in testing. But beyond that, the beta was removed almost immediately and then re-uploaded all in the same day. It seems like somebody may have uploaded the wrong files on accident. And honestly, with SteamDB alone, there really isn't all that much to go off of here. But things become a lot more interesting, as you can also see that Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition was just re-rated by Peggy. And this was published on February 29th, 2024. If you're not familiar, Peggy provides the rating for many of the countries in Europe, kind of like the ESRB in the US. So what is all of this? Are we actually getting a full-on New Vegas remaster out of nowhere? Unfortunately, a full remaster seems incredibly unlikely, and instead, what I suspect we are seeing is a new update for Fallout New Vegas and even some of the other Fallout games. And while it may not be a full-on remaster, this still can be very significant in both good ways and bad. But it seems pretty likely that all of this is happening right now because these new games will ship out as a part of the Fallout Special Anthology. Back in 2015, before Fallout 4 even released, Bethesda released the Fallout Anthology. This contained all of the mainline entries so far in this little mini nuke. And a few weeks ago, they announced a new version of this, the Fallout Special Anthology, this time containing all of the games up to Fallout 76. And in place of physical slots for the games to sit, this would come with game codes provided on PC and the seven special perk cards. As a part of this, Bethesda didn't really say anything new would be coming. It's not like they said, oh yeah, by the way, Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4 are also getting updates. But one of the notable parts about this new release is they very closely tied it to the TV show. As this whole thing's dropping on April, April 11th, the day before the Fallout TV show releases. And just the fact that we are getting a new Fallout special anthology really explains the Peggy rating, at least to me. Back in 2015, Fallout 3 also had its Peggy rating updated for the Fallout anthology in Europe, so now New Vegas having the exact same thing occur does make a lot of sense. It's following the exact same sequence. Why Europe has to re-rate their games to release in this anthology, I don't actually know. But in 2015, Fallout 3 didn't receive a major update, so the Peggy rating alone doesn't confirm that New Vegas Vegas is getting a major update now. And to be honest, the real interesting part about all of this are some of these new SteamDB branches, because yes, there are several. As I began to dig a bit further, I noticed that New Vegas wasn't the only game to get some interesting SteamDB changes. The new beta branch for New Vegas was uploaded just a few days ago, like I mentioned before, but all the way back in March of 2023, a new Purple Rain branch was uploaded for New Vegas. This was around for a couple of months before being removed at the end of May. And they can name these branches anything, so I wouldn't read too much into that, but something else happened on March. March 14th, 2023. Fallout 4 also had a beta branch uploaded, and just a little over two weeks after that, we also got the New Vegas 2 branch for Fallout 4. That seemed to end up being nothing, probably just a late April Fool's joke, because again, they could name these branches whatever they want. But even that still wasn't all, is also Fallout 3 joined the club, as on March 14th, that too got a beta branch of its own, and just like Fallout New Vegas, this was also removed at the end of May. So with Fallout 4, things are fairly straightforward. It's been getting updates all through 2023. When that new beta branch was uploaded, things really kicked off, and we've seen regular activity on SteamDB for Fallout 4. And this has continued into 2024 with more daily updates. New Vegas and Fallout 3 initially started off on the same path, both getting new additions on March 14th that were removed on May 30th, but only New Vegas got a new branch with beta uploaded earlier this week. Fallout 3 has had no such change. And what I think actually is going on here is, March 14th was the point where Bethesda internally decided to start working on these updates for some of the older games games, likely all as a part of an initiative focused around the release of the Fallout TV show. We just saw how big of a boost Cyberpunk 2077 got from Edge Runners, and Bethesda likely wants to recreate some of that success for their own games. So likely, what we're seeing here is Bethesda is using Steam to QA test updates for Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4. And I'm guessing each of these updates will drop for their respective games on April 11th, along with the special anthology overall. And of course, all of this to kick off the Fallout TV show, which will debut the following day. With Fallout 4, we know they're working on a next-gen version of this game, and by the
the sound of things, this is going to include some new free Creation Club content. So an update to the game itself will include bug fixes, some new 4K options, higher FPS, but also a free mini DLC. But that's all pretty straightforward. What's going on with New Vegas and potentially Fallout 3 is definitely a bit more curious. Fallout 3 feels like the weakest candidate for something actually happening update-wise. For Fallout 3, all we really have is this one upload around a year ago that was removed about six weeks later. Nothing else happened. We of course did have that leaked Bethesda document that did show they had at least at one point plans for a Fallout 3 remaster, but even in that original document from 2020, it wasn't actually supposed to come out for several more years into the future. And if they were remastering Fallout 3, I highly doubt it would be a beta branch on Steam. It would be an entirely new entry on Steam so they could sell it to you. But especially when looking at New Vegas and potentially Fallout 3, I think what could be a somewhat realistic expectation is a nice 64-bit modernization for those games. If you played Fallout 3 in New Vegas recently, you probably recognize how much less stable they are compared to other modern titles. Even if you're using a ton of mods, there are simply hard limits imposed by the engine, largely as a result of being a 32-bit game. So natively, it can only use 4 gigabytes of RAM, and then you have to use modded in workarounds to use more than that. But even still, they're workarounds, not a true solution. So potentially, Bethesda could be doing almost exactly what they did with Skyrim Special Edition here, taking New Vegas and Fallout 3 and giving them a light remaster, bringing them up to 64-bit as well as giving them DirectX 12 upgrades. And this would still be pretty huge, giving you far more flexibility as far as RAM usage, a lot more flexibility as far as modding the game, and just in general, you would probably notice far more stability. Just like we saw with Skyrim, people very rapidly moved to Skyrim Special Edition because it is a far more pleasant experience as far as modding goes compared to Skyrim Legendary Edition, which is 32-bit. Of course, with Skyrim, they also introduced console modding, as well as a brand new storefront for paid mods, and Bethesda literally just did that again a few months ago with Skyrim. As of right now, I've heard zero rumors of creations coming to Fallout 3 or New Vegas, so that seems unlikely. I mean, as of right now, it's not even coming to Fallout 4, as far as I've heard. But a 64-bit New Vegas would still be very big. This would be a whole new world of stability for that game, and really just a lot more opportunity for modding. But this does, of course, come with one gigantic downside. If this were to happen, it would break a ton of the mods currently available for Fallout New Vegas. Of course, this is the consistent problem we run into with Fallout 4 and Skyrim, and likely Starfield one day, but it becomes a much larger problem for Fallout New Vegas because the modding seems so old now. A lot of the authors have just moved on, so those mods will likely never get updates unless they were open source and the community could update them. And when you look at Fallout 3, that problem is just exaggerated even further as that modding community is even older. Over the last couple of years particularly, New Vegas modding has been making major advancements. There's a new script extender as well as animation framework release, so we've been seeing a ton of new animations and really an animation revolution for the game, but also just other things like implementing some of the modern features from other fallouts, and even just a couple of days ago, we got a giant new mod overhauling many of the underutilized locations in New Vegas, one of the biggest critiques with the game. And needless to say, a lot of that content would break and need further updates to work on a potential new version, even if it isn't a 64-bit upgrade, any kind of update would break a lot of this. And I would say that's my speculation right now. Of course, this could end up being even smaller, like a singular new item edition related to the TV show or some kind of new quest, but I feel like it wouldn't be worth it to do something so small for Bethesda. And I think a 64-bit update while still being speculation is a lot more realistic. And we may be learning more about all of this even just this week. The Fall TV show has seriously ramped up its teases this weekend, and it seems that they have quite a bit planned for the entirety of this week. So keep an eye on all of that in case we get a surprise new New Vegas or even Fallout 4 next-gen news more just get subscribed and I'll keep you up to date with everything that's going on. But until then, check out this video to learn what on earth is going on with Starfield right now.